just a quick video on hex drilling with carbide create. Uh, what we have is a point one zero zero of an inch, one hundred thousandths of an inch drill bit. In carbide create, I created my holes at point one zero one of an inch. Even one one thousandth of an inch for this drill bit to move. Carbide Create won't just drill a hole, it doesn't have that function, so I had to put the one one thousandth of an inch in there to trick it into this drill bit being an end mill. And that little bit of movement in the machine should not snap this drill bit. Uh, we're about to find out. If it does, I won't be posting this video. If it doesn't, well, then it's a success. So here we go. Peck drilling with carbide create and carbide motion on the Shapeoko XL. Oh, double XL. for a tool change. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to have to look and see what happened. That wasn't peck drilling, that was just good old fashioned drilling. But either way, it was still successful. There's my series of holes I drilled, they're just random holes for the video. So no peck drilling, I'm going to have to look and see what happened. Um, I thought with setting it up depth of cut per pass, I thought that would have given me a, a peck drilling effect but as you saw you can drill with carbide create you don't need an expensive software like Aspire even though I highly recommend it alright 